Hey everyone, I'm Rushlock, and this is an Eve Echoes guide on selling things in game. Uh, so one of the most common questions I get on stream is, how do I, as a free-to-play player, sell things? You know, can we not? Are there limitations? Uh, you can definitely sell things, and there are some some limits you need to be aware of to do so. So let's go into our item hanger here to find an item that we want to get rid of. Uh, let's take this, I guess, afterburner for some reason, and I want to get view and market details. Um, a commonly missed UI element is buy orders and sell orders. So here you have a, a list of sell orders denoted by sellers. And if you click this button here, which is easy to miss, uh, there's a buyer's option here. Uh, this is where you can fill someone else's buy order. And as an alpha free-to-play character, as far as I'm aware, you can only sell two uh, previously existing buy orders. You can't list your own sell order as a, an alpha. Um, and then also beyond that, location is important. So an alpha player can't just sell things wherever they please. They have to go to their character sheets, go to markets, and then here you'll see a nearby trading center. And when you click this button, it may take a minute for this part to finish loading, you'll get a list of systems that you can you can still do transactions in, in business in, um, certain stations and certain systems. Uh, again, this is another limitation, you know, meant to incentivize you going to Omega. Um, keeping in mind that if you're if you're even playing semi-actively, um, you can go into pilot service at any time, convert ISK into Plex, and you only need 170 Plex to uh, become an Omega player. These prices right now are irrelevant because this, this video, three months from now, six months from now, whatever, the price will be very different. But the idea is it'll also be a lot easier to make ISK in the future as well, as new ships and tools and activities become available. Um, but yeah, that was the most common question we've gotten so far from Alpha players was, how do I take my loot, how do I take my ore, and convert it into Liquid Isk? And again, we'll go back into the item hanger. Let's say I want to get rid of uh, some minerals or some, some ore here. Uh, so far, I've, I've noticed it's in early days, it's easier to sell minerals than, than ore. Um, and when you have the raw ore here, you have the reprocess option. And you can see a re a re an efficiency here, basically meaning how much of the, the uh, rough estimate value of it you're going to get back. So obviously training skills for reprocessing makes sense, or making a contact in game that reprocesses all your ore for you efficiently would make sense. Uh, you know, maybe they're a friend, or maybe they take a cut, you know, whatever the case may be. Uh, but generally, minerals will shift more easily than the, the raw ore. But if you're selling someone who has reprocessing skills, then uh, they'll take care of it on their end. But uh, again, being in that market for the nearby trading centers is the huge part that a lot of people uh, are either unaware of or have missed. And uh, simply go to market and nearby trading centers as an alpha, you're good to go. Uh, there is another way to move goods in-game. You can send it by contract, but again, this is Omega only. So both parties sending and receiving the contract have to be uh, Omega status. Uh, but again, if you're if you're playing even remotely actively, getting the the Omega status for basic Omega um, is is pretty pretty accessible. So, as always, if you have any questions at all, put them in the comments down below. And uh, if necessary, I'll make another visual guide for anyone who uh, if there's like a common question that comes up. I'll make sure to make a visual guide for that. But again, as always, questions down below in the comment section or post them on our Discord, which will be linked down below as well. Enjoy yourselves, fly fun, and we'll see you in game.